Uganda has been credited for its open-door policy towards refugees. But as they trickle in into the settlements, the burden now shifts to providing basic services for them, which include education, health care, and most importantly, rehabilitation. This is Bidibidi Refugee Settlement in Yumbe District, northwest of Uganda. Many of the refugees here are from South Sudan. The 2013 civil strife is believed to have displaced close to 4 million people and caused the deaths of another 400,000. More than half of the displaced South Sudanese have since found solace here in Bidibidi settlement. The miles of homes here have since transformed to semi-permanent structures. Figures from the Prime Minister's office show that some 250,000 refugees are living in the settlement. Water, health facilities, schools and other basic needs have been provided. But the UNHCR is now working to help young refugees move on from their past through art therapy initiatives. Here at Twajiji Primary School, teachers and pupils were trained on how to use art therapy. This is to encourage them to speak openly about traumatic experiences, use art to express their feelings and to overcome stress and learn how to become better artists. As you can see, there are two heads there. We wrote that one, that we draw that one, that those are our leaders. They should come together and bring peace in our land, South Sudan. Like this, which is showing togetherness, peace, and eating together. Let us be united. Let us share our words as one community. But to Joan Bayo, a primary seven pupil here, the drawings are much more than art. We used to revise these things from the book, but this time you revise from the book, and the summer will be done just outside. You look at the wall, then you look at the pictures, the parts are there. From there, it will be simple for us to revise. As an elephant drawn for us here in Tragedy Primary School, for me as a teacher, it will help me. Because when I'll be teaching about an elephant, these children will see it. The young ones work with the adults, and this is why. Before we started painting, we sat down and looked at what ideas we can put in place. We looked at uh, family relations. Families sitting together, doing a number of things. We looked at children playing, people getting water from the same points. Those are things that can bring people together. They will have to learn a lesson that it is important that as they are here in Uganda as refugees, they can as well live together, forget their differences in South Sudan. With the uncertainty on when they will return to their country, the children also carry special messages for their leaders. Let us be together as one blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that you have created for us. Let us be together, let us be united. Because our country is there, let us be united. When they are hating themselves there, let us be united in the settlement. I want them to come together. They should not separate themselves. They should come together. They should think of our children. Our future generation, they should think about it because now our future, we don't know. We have lost our way. The United Nations works with professional artists to help the children express themselves through art and paintings. There needs to be arts components that are made with every single crisis that exists. Children need to have the opportunity no matter where they are, no matter what crisis and, and trauma they have been through. These children have been through such serious trauma. You can see it in their behavior. You can see it in the way they interact. And these children need to have healthy ways of expressing themselves. They need to have healthy ways to let out what they've been through, ways of idealizing their future of believing what is possible and they need to be able to do that on an ongoing basis and they need to know that it is possible. Whether it's paintings, sculptures or drawings, refugees around the globe are finding their purpose in this world and potential in themselves to reach new heights despite what they have endured. But when we go back we shall have that knowledge of painting, that knowledge of sharing. We shall forget about the war. When, I, when I, we go back to South Sudan, I will be able to, to train people how to paint, how to mix different colors of paints and show on. This is with the hope 
to give a voice against their dark experiences that is positive, uplifting and inspirational. Walter Mwesije, NTV.